is the hype on WebUI Forge Real. I've got it queued up here. We're going to click Generate. I'm using a 3060 Ti, which only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. So as you can see, we're running it. I'm killing time. I'm averaging about 18 seconds uh, per generation using Forge. And we're going to go head to head with Automatic 1111. Now I am recording, so it could add one to two seconds. We see it's done already. I'm going to bring up the back end here and we see 20 seconds. Like I said, because I'm recording, it'll add one to two seconds, but I am getting roughly 18 seconds for a 1024 by 1024 image. So is the hype real? Yeah, I would say so. Now, before we get into the numbers, just a few quick things I want to point out. As you can see, it looks just like automatic 1111. And if we scroll down, it says here with eight gigabytes of VRAM, now we're talking NVIDIA, you can expect an increase of speed of 30 to 45%. And for six gigabytes of VRAM, 60 to 75%. Obviously, if you have 3080s, 4090s, the speed isn't going to be as noticeable. But for people like us, this is definitely great news. Now, I'm not going to go through the installation. Most of you have probably watched uh, Olivio's video already. I'll leave a link in the description below. Unless you want me to cover it for whatever reason, I kind of want to shy away from install videos for a while. Now the other thing I wanted to point out, this is the same developer, I don't know how you pronounce it, but he is the same developer that has brought us ControlNet and more recently Focus, which is very popular in the open source community. So someone needs to hire this dude, like he's doing such a great thing for the open source community. Now this isn't an in-depth test. This is really just based on speed and default settings between automatic 1111 and Forge. Up front, as I said, I'm using a 3060 Ti with eight gigabytes of VRAM, a Ryzen 5800X with 32 gigabytes of system RAM. The model I'm using is Realism Engine XL. Won't make a difference in speed. Sampler DPM++ to Amkaris equal to Euler, Euler Ancestral. CFG of six steps, 30, 40, and 50. We've got numbers for each of those. And we're only going to do sizes 768 by 1024 and 1024 by 1024. Now, in terms of performance, I do want to point out that we have Forge here in blue, Automatic 1111 in green, and the purple is using the tiled VAE extension. If you don't know about that, I'll leave a link in the description below. So when it comes to 768 by 1024, we see Forge here performing at 13 seconds versus Automatic 1111's 19 seconds. But with the tiled VAE extension, we have 16 seconds. So six second difference and three second difference between the two. At 1024 by 1024, 18 seconds for Forge, 27 seconds for Automatic 1111. We see that gap start to widen with the bigger size. But with the tiled VAE, it shaves off five seconds from Automatic 1111 and a little more closer to Forge with a four second differential. This is at 30 steps. So let's switch over to 40 steps. At 768, we see 17 seconds for Forge, 23 for Auto 1111, 21 with the tiled VAE. 1024 by 1024, we see such a large gap here, 23 versus 33. And with the tiled VAE, a six second differential with 29 versus 23. Moving on to 50 steps, now we really start to see that margin widen. So 21 for Forge, 20 for automatic 1111, 25 seconds with the tiled VAE for 768. And for 1024, there's now an 11 second differential and a six second differential between the two. Yeah, it's quite a bit faster. I haven't tried it with ControlNet just yet, but I suspect it's going to be very similar results. Now, I didn't mention SD 1.5 because you can imagine it's going to be quite fast, but I'm just going to do a quick run here with realistic vision. I'm going to run it once just to get, holy crap -o. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why is this model so damn horny? Now, I didn't mention stable diffusion 1.5. You can imagine it's going to be quite fast. I'm going to leave this at 30 steps and do a height of 832 by 640. I've got realistic vision queued up. Let's go ahead and generate this. And uh, before it stops, any guesses? 
five seconds, six seconds. Let's see how quick this runs. Why is this model so damn horny? I'm gonna run it again, uh, just so we can get a decent image. Okay, that's not too bad. And uh, let's take a look at the back end. Seven seconds. So WebUI Forge, definitely a plus. I kind of wish that it wasn't an exact clone of Automatic 11.11 and it was given a different UI just to kind of separate it. But whatever, I'm sure he had his reasons. Give it a go. Let me know in the comments below what your experiences are. Let me know what GPU you're using. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Until the next video, I'll see you when I see you.